Ghosts. Yeah. Like, the only thing think... worse than having your birthday on July 4th is is the way my friend Rosie's mom or Matt's mom have it, which is Christmas, New Year's. Like, yeah, having yeah, my Christmas mom's on New the Year's... 24th. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Your mom's Christmas and Rosie's mom's New Year's. It sucks. Yeah. Anyway, and I'm two days after it fucking really sucks. Yeah, I want to talk to the doctor broke. and be like, hey, can we just induce on the fifth? Maybe she'll come on the sixth. Yeah, yeah, because so. so we'll see. Well, I, but if I she does to... come right away on the fourth, I'm, I'm gonna call her little seventy six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to give a shout out before we get started and too far into it uh, about um, a listener, Ricardo. So Ricardo, you knew I told you I was gonna talk about this. Uh, I guess it, Ricardo knew we we he had DM'd me about something and. Uh, he had suggested a movie for me to watch, which listeners of this podcast will know what a big fan I am of movies. Uh, and I've been on a Western kick lately, uh, going through and, and showing um, my mother. She, I guess there's a ton of movies she hasn't seen, especially Westerns. So I'm showing her like The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and Fistful of Dollars, and A Few Dollars More, and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, he suggested this Western called My Name is Nobody. So Ricardo had said it's got Henry Fonda in it. Now, to be fair, I'm not a big ha- fan of any of the Fondas, Jane, Peter, right. or Henry, <laughs> especially Jane. Fuck her. Jane for obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh, with Henry Fonda, it was just because I'd seen terror. I'd never seen a movie that I really enjoyed of his. Um, especially the movies I saw, he was a prick. Anyway, yeah. so they told me to watch this movie, and it was a, a spaghetti western. It was. Okay. Henry Fonda's last movie. So it's it's dubbed and the only actor whose voice they use is Henry Fonda's but they still dub him. <laughs> <laughs> right? Sorry. So um, everybody's dubbed including button. the lead actor. Oh, oh there he is. In the right How would you dub it if you're using his voice? Well, so that's so even you, if you watch the the Dollars trilogy, Fistful of Dollars, Few Dollars More and Good the Bad and the Ugly, Clint Eastwood's voice is Clint Eastwood's voice but it's still dubbed, right? They dub everybody. That was just right, the way right. they it, it, and that's it, just the way they did those movies. Well, yeah. it's also uh, a lot of stuff that was filmed on like on on location, like it was back right. then. And the actors you spoke their own languages. They didn't all speak English. Like some actors spoke right. Italian, some actors spoke English. They just read their lines in their native language, and then they yeah, you just everything. like and the the audio was shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're out there, like right. the winds kicking up, dust is kicking up. So like you went back to the studio and read read your lines and dubbed it all later. Right. So I watched this movie. My name is nobody. And he said, I told, I prefaced that. I said, look, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not a huge Fonda fan, but I'll watch it. And, uh, Jane Fonda? Ron, no, Henry, uh, <laughs> we all, we all hate Jane. Yeah. We, who, uh, yeah. was, you know, Hanoi Jane, but, uh, so Heard I Amber movie. Heard. Oh God. I think, you know what? I think <laughs> I'd rather hang yeah, at this point. I think I'd rather it. hang out with Jane Fonda than Amber Heard. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. <laughs> at least 100%. the conversation would be interesting. <laughs> 100%. And Jane might not take a shit in your bed when it's all over. Or uh, try to frame okay. you. Or try to frame the, you. Yeah. The TikTok snippets of today was just oh. outstanding. Anyways, go ahead. Amber so, yeah. Yeah. so so he had me watch this movie and I watched it late at night. So admittedly, I was watching it when I was tired. It I, it took me three nights to watch it because I kept falling asleep. That's how riveting it was. Oh um, geez. Yeah. Like, like three Fair. nights? <laughs> three nights to watch it, dude. Sorry, I Ricardo. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, but I I, t- I committed to him. He said to watch it, and he said specifically, he goes, I watched it when I was a kid. It's Sergio Leone's last movie. So I watched it. It's not Sergio Leone's last movie. It's the last movie I think he produced, but he didn't direct it. So it's not even as good as a Sergio Leone Spaghetti Western. It's half a Sergio Leone Spaghetti Western. And it's a comedy. So what? And uh, so I, as he he says, there's this one message. There's this one takeaway that I got for the movie. 
So I wanted to give this to you guys because this is something that I had heard before. But I, if if listeners haven't seen the movie or they don't know this story, Hi, oh, well, hello, little one, special guest star, special guest star. <laughs> Hi, McNugget. Hi. She's like, oh, that's coming Hi. out of that. <laughs> what a cutie! Oh. Everybody wave. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sony. what a cutie. Good thing she takes after her mom. Time for bed. God, you know, thank God. <laughs> Sonny, <laughs> bedtime. She's like, no, first that's, face is on the computer. That's Uncle Tom. That's Uncle Thomas. Thomas. Maybe Thomas is better. <laughs> Maybe Thomas. <laughs> Uncle Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Tom. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's Uncle Tom. <laughs> I'm a race. I'm, I'm, I hate my own race. <sighs> and uh, that's, that's Uncle Matt. Hi. And that's just Chuck. That's just Chuck. That's oh, just Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> Excuse Chuck. me. I'm sorry. It's just, that's, that's Chuck Wagon. <laughs> uh, okay, so go back to bed. Love you. Night. Wait, wait. Should we three men and a baby yet? Oh, do, do, yes. Do, do. Good, Good night. night, sweetheart. sweetheart. It's time, time to, to go. go. Do, 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 do. Do. Good, Good night, sweetheart. <laughs> she can't night. hear us. <laughs> Tripping. Uh, so anyway so the story from the movie that he told me and he told me there was a takeaway at the end and so i'm assuming this is it he hasn't just back but uh, the guy tells a story and he says you have to listen to the story and figure out what the point of the story is for yourself nobody can tell you what the point of the story is right okay here's the story a little bird non-conformist bird doesn't want to fly south for the winter so he doesn't right and i'm paraphrasing because i don't remember exactly what they said in the movie but eventually he gets so cold he falls out of the nest and his wings are frozen right and he's freezing to death on the ground cheap 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 and uh he's, he's cheap he's a cheap ass bird that we've seen yeah cheap 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 he get cut out of the nest and by someone's like he froze <laughs> oh you fuck you um so <laughs> those are eggs it wasn't even a bird <laughs> so he's laying there on the ground freezing and a cow comes along and he sees him and so the cow takes pity on him and turns around and lifts his tail and takes a huge steaming shit right on the bird okay and so the bird is in this shit cheap 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 and all of a sudden that he starts to feel better because he's not freezing anymore because the the shit's warm and it's actually warming him up and it saves his life right but he realizes he's still stuck in shit. So he, you know, cheap, 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 cheap. And then a coyote comes along and the coyote sees the bird, looks at him and plucks him out of the shit and shakes him off, shake, brushes all the shit off of the bird. When the bird, cheap, 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 the bird's happy he's out of the shit. And then the coyote eats him in one gulp. Now, what's the point of the story? Well, the point of the story is, number one, not everybody who shits on you is your enemy. <laughs> number two True. not okay. everyone that tries to help you is your friend and number three sometimes if you're stuck in a pile of shit it's best to just keep your mouth shut <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, fucking great i like I'm that be real with you that's 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 some words right there <laughs> so i'm gonna say ricardo uh the movie was not worth it but the story was <laughs> <laughs> and on that note welcome to the locker room i'm tom i'm matthew i'm just chuck hey just chuck <laughs> <laughs> and i'm sloan's dad oh i'm gonna tell you right now we we do this podcast warts and all you get we edit we literally edit very little out of this show yeah, yeah. we're not that it's professional right. no we want you, this is the locker room. This is, that's the whole point of the show is that you say anything you want in the locker room. It's the original safe space. Really? Right. It's the original, like no yeah. judgment zone. Right. Not like that. Library. No, we, Did you guys see that library? I'm like, no, we, we judge them. What this, library? Over, this is over in, uh, I think Marco's neck of the woods. They were having oh, a, uh-huh. they were having time for kids to play with Legos at the, in the kids book section of the library. Uh huh. But because it was a safe space, mm-hmm. some, 35 year old man in lingerie showed up and was allowed to sit and play Legos with the kids. In the no, no. Okay. that's not lingerie. safe anymore. That's not fucking safe anymore. It's inappropriate. There's it's photos. Horrible. It was tweeted out like, yeah. 
He yeah, identifies as a man. fucking drag queen. Get the fuck out he of here. He identifies as a fucking prison. Lego. I don't know. At that point, like, he's he's an adult man in yeah, long And I saw the child. pictures. Like, in a garter belt and thigh highs and panties. Like, Frankenfurter playing Legos in the kids section of the library with small children. No. Hey, and now, get the now, fuck now, out. Now, if he was doing the whole Frankenfurter, you know, voice and <laughs> you know, say like, <laughs> how do you then, do? Then I'm going to be real with you. Then I'll be like, Son, sooner or later, you need to be exposed back to Frank and Furter. Might Maybe well not this sooner soon. than later. <laughs> yeah. Might as well just get um, it out of the way. Yeah. So. God damn. There's shit everywhere up in here. Anyway, I, I just wanted to give that shot. And Matt, you've got some uh, you've got some emails. I, we got I some emails. I got a couple jokes I'm going to read uh, at the end. Okay. There's hey, And hey. then there's a. Uh, I got a tag up for. We still got Sunday. I got in another uh, Warrior Poet submission from Brian. Oh, that's cool. Um, he said, "What about Val Kilmer's Doc Holiday?" As a oh. warrior poet, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see that. Fictional, yeah. yeah, as a fictional, yeah. I'm like, I'm like I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Enough. And the shout educated out, man. Shout out to oh, the yeah, listener absolutely. who called out Chuck for missing General Mattis. <laughs> he, he uh, and admittedly, I thought first of, him on the of podcast, all, so. first <laughs> of all, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the, the feathers have been ruffled. There we go. There we go. Get First him, of all, him. I went way back. You got fucking back. Barcelona. Well, shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, we all know Mattis is a badass. Have a have a fucking plan to kill everyone you meet. Yes, yes, he's badass. But I wanted to bring back some some OGs who are no longer right. with us and pay respect and homage to them. I think it was more that you just didn't even mention him or give him honorable mention or anything. Not that. Well, I mean, we in, in well, we had to, we, we had to we narrow it down to two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we, had, no, we had. I more, get it. Yeah, we had pop culture and pop culture and, and, and you know and, and real life. By the way, I mean, if you think about like honorable mentions, and I don't know if you guys are going to get this one's going to go over. Oh, Matt's not so I'm not going to know this one. Thomas, I hope so. Uncle Iro, do you know Uncle Iro? Uncle Iro, from uh, Avatar: Last Airbender. I don't no, even know what never, you're talking about right now. Oh, man. Oh, you're okay. alone on the you? island, Marco. You are alone on the island, my friend. <laughs> yeah, is it what about Master? Hold on. What about Master Uwe from uh, Kung Fu Panda? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Kung yeah. Fu Panda. The, tur- the turtle? The turtle? The... Kung Fu Panda? Oh, he's a turtle? He's a turtle in the beginning. Uh, yeah. Who is the little fucking, uh, the little guy who was teaching him? Master Shifu. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's it. so. Well, there you go. So there's some well, ones that we missed. Yeah. And uh, let's see what else here. I have um, an execution submission, too. Oh, wow. From going back. Uh, a couple yeah, weeks well, ago. It's not, not going we're batting clean up on this episode. Yeah, we're batting clean up here. Um, oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this up. was this was Chris. He also submitted um, a warrior poet, but the execution thing was kind of long. OK. So, I mean, I can I can probably power through it depending on how many times you assholes interrupt me. So okay. we'll see. We'll there, there, I haven't read this, so there could be some some mm-hmm. golden opportunities sure. to, uh, sure, sure, to spin sure, off sure. on here. Okay, uh, so execution uh, from Chris. Uh, I'm a week behind on my listening, so hopefully this is not too late. I have a few comments based on your execution show. First of all, if I had to pick a method for my own execution, it would be hands down mm-hmm. be a firing squad. Even better, okay. a bullet to the brain. Wait, that's, that's how he's going out? That's how yeah. he would like that's to go if he had to pick. Out. Just oh, shoot me in the fucking okay. head and yeah. be done. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Quick. That yeah. said, mm-hmm. I am attaching a picture of the backrest for Utah's firing squad chair, showing the bullet holes from the last execution. They supposedly used full metal jacket 3030s from a Winchester 94, which I think adds a nice touch of frontier justice symbolism. I agree, it Chris. Is Utah. Yes. Mm. Um, Fair. I do not see any key hold. Uh, I do not see any key holding, so it's likely that those are uh, through shots with minimal deflection from 25 feet. That is a rather embarrassing marksmanship. And I'm scrolling down. I'll send you guys the picture. But oh yeah, that's uh, uh yeah, yeah. Let me let me uh. Send it's all over the place. It's it's uh it's not a good grouping at all. It's, maybe well, maybe I mean, they have if... no. Maybe they're going for a, a wider group. They don't want to keyhole them. They're going right. for a wider group for maximum damage to cause different yeah, organs okay. as possible. So or a- yeah, or they could have just borrowed a bunch of stormtroopers. 
to try to right. keep him. You know, so, <laughs> like, so no, then just, he would still just, be alive. I just sent that. Uh, I just, I just sent that to our little thread. <laughs> so if they're, if they're all okay. Told, um, to aim at certain areas. Yeah. Right. Hey, you aim here. You aim here. You aim here, and they all shoot at the same yeah. time. That'll create what's called a, a really nasty hammer pair, which yeah. creates so much trauma to the chest, it just fucking end you. Yeah, yeah. you're not coming back. Maybe that's what they're yeah. Or they that, suck because. Okay. I mean, you know, it could be. I mean, it almost looks. It almost looks almost intentional. They're pretty much. They're level. level. Together. They're just. Yeah. They're, they're. You know what it is? They probably level. They probably staggered hmm. it to make yeah, sure yeah, they yeah. hit the heart. Hmm. Like it guaranteed, yeah. two of those bullets hit the heart. I mean, they're right. pretty on plane. You know, what I'm saying like like yeah. across, like horizontally across. I mean, they're they're pretty they're pretty there. So, yeah. I mean, so if we like have anybody right there. anybody who's a member of the Utah firing squad wants to come on the podcast we'll be... <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll mask we'll, your we'll... voice and everything we'll fucking yeah. we'll put one of the <laughs> fucking uh the hood. yeah no we'll, we'll just no just don't turn you don't turn your video on so we right. won't even see you and no. then uh use one of those voice distortion things yeah yeah you know we'll, or just we'll replace you with a little image of a dude or, with a blindfold and a cigarette <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay uh so let me power through the rest of this uh as far as an animal to use i would say some kind of poisonous spider you put them in a, in a terrarium. You put them in a terrarium with a poisonous spider and let mm. it do its job. It might take sure. a bit, but the psychological aspect would be amazing. I like where you're going with that, Chris. Um, I if I was emperor of the world, oh, yes, okay. emperor of the world. Emperor, there we my, go. My protocol would be very similar to Tom's, with a few exceptions. Okay. The family could not grant clemency. That would have to okay. be a stipulation the victim would have in their will or directive. And my methods Ooh. of execution would be different. Here we go. Buckle up, gentlemen. Ooh. I have seen far too much senseless death revolving around drunk drivers. I have done compressions on a 12-year-old while a medic tried to put in an airway just to have them taken off light support, life support later because they have been down too long. I have cut the charred body of a pregnant woman out of a burnt out car. I've spent yeah. hours searching for body parts of two mo motorcyclists hit head on. Yeah, I have damn. heard the wails of anguished family members and had okay, to physically hold them back. So my department right. members yep. could do Check. the job we needed to do. Check. Got it. Um, I, have the spent, shit. I have spent way oh, too many it, hours. It keeps going. Oh, we're not, we're not done. This is a whole paragraph. I've spent oh, way okay. too many hours okay. in the middle of the night in shitty weather all this caused by drunk drivers, not to mention visiting my grandfather in ICU when I was around 11 after oh. he was hit by a drunk. He lived. Oh, that's brutal. Oh. So, that's, that's brutal. So killing someone with a right. vehicle while under mm -hmm. the influence would be a capital crime. You would be put yeah. in the big dirt field with walls. It would essentially be a destruction derby, except for the winning driver would be the one that smoked your ass. The victim's family members would have first right to drive the vehicle, after which it would be a lottery with all proceeds going to the victim's family. Wow. I mean, wow. so you're I running like around one. in a big dirt arena with dirt yeah. walls. Like a, like a, like, like a bull ring, right? Yeah. Like you're running from the bull, but the bulls like are cars. Like what was that movie where everybody was stupid? In the future, idiocracy. 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 Remember that one scene where yeah. he's out there, they're yeah, running around yeah. with monster trucks and shit? Yeah, mm -hmm. like that. Uh, the next Come special on. group would be pedophiles. They would get a steam oh, cleaner on. enema and then would be allowed to slowly Fuck. die from infection oh, and septic shock from the third degree steam burns in I like the cold. Where your head's at. I like where your head's at. Wow, I love this guy. Wow. The this, final is very, group, this is yes. very thought out, man. Here we go. This is, this is the, next level. The My final kind of group would be murderers and general rapists as opposed to general rapists. rapists. Yeah. People as opposed rape to generals. targeted rapists. Yes. Um, they would take part in a primetime national TV game show that I would mm. call American Execution. <laughs> in this versus game. rapists. <laughs> in I this was just game, like, you mean Demolition Man? Anyways, can, can you know? yeah. yeah, right. So in this game, each night, week, or however often it was needed to keep the death row population relatively Pause. low. Oh my yeah. God, Demolition Man, dude. Yeah, it's Tom, not Demolition Man. Man. That's, no, well, no. Stop. Well, let's. let's we I mean, don't know where he's going with it yet. Let, let, no, I'm okay. just saying, let's just do that. Let's do Demolition Man? Bring like, yeah, like fucking Pyro and like, you know, all these fucking guys. You mean and then running when you man. get Running Man. Running yeah, Man, Running, running Man. man, running man. man. Yes. Sorry, Running Man. Yes. And then yeah, when, you get, when you get to the end yeah. and you think you won, that's when you get plugged in the head. 
No, no. Ooh. Then you get to go to the island. <laughs> so you get to go to the no deserted what. island with all the other winners, where the only oh, rule is: there we go. We don't give you anything. Yeah. No. Right. That's no. The no, island no, no, no. we said where we. Here's the rule: No, everybody's on the island, but when you go there, they give you shit that everybody else would want. Oh. Yes. Oh, like you one show drop up. a drop of like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You man. show yeah. up. You're with you on your person. Shit. Yeah. Right. Oh, and then they yeah. tell everybody. They tell everybody. <laughs> Hey, he's got your thing. Yeah, so and so is coming he's this time, it. and he has this, 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 and this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, mm. be the Love ultimate it. new fish uh, monkey. Yeah, each night, a uh, week, or however often is needed to keep the death row population relatively low, a group of ten or so death row inmates would be selected by a number drawing. They would all be sat down and served a meal. They would each get to give a plea as to why they deserve to live longer. A prosecutor type would give a counter argument as to why they were a piece of shit scumbag that deserves to die. Okay. Then there would be an app where all of the viewers could vote on which shithead would die that night. Like upvoting on Reddit? Yeah. This is very they uh, would... Jesus Christ esque. Yeah, <laughs> Who do you want me to release? <laughs> <laughs> they, would, they would all be strapped into chairs in the same room wearing a debt cord collar. It would be completely it would be a completely automated system where no one could know the result of the voting until a predetermined time when a computer activates the switch after tallying the vote and one of their heads would turn into pink mist spraying all over the other inmates in the room. To make it more dramatic, maybe there could more be dramatic. A count- yeah. <laughs> maybe there could be a countdown clock on the wall along with an audible countdown in front of them. After the, after the surviving inmates would have to clean up the mess, shower off, rinse and repeat for the next time. Ooh. All the proceeds from the show would go to the families of the victims. There you go. Now, I, I'm i down with the, the audible countdown as long as it's the voice of Spaceball 1. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Have a nice day. Thank you. Have Thank you. <laughs> Metallica guys, Spaceballs. Oh my God! I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure I have faith in Metallica guy that he uh seen he's probably seen it. So. He's probably I'm sure seen he it. has. By yeah. the way, Metallica guy did get back to us on our question about the the martial arts in the um the you know the black belt issue. Remember I told you about this? I'm I'm drawing a complete blank. Yeah, me too. So I, I sent you guys a message, and it was through somebody had sent us this on locker room, and it was a thing from Australia about uh what you're allowed to do if you what legally a dojo the rules that dojos have have to abide by i don't remember seeing this at all oh really yeah Mm. okay all right i think you were gonna send it and maybe you didn't then let me no i sent it i'm gonna pause i'm gonna pause the show right quick Maybe you should have. This oh, is what you, you should have fucking way. figured out when we were paused, Thomas. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I pulled it up. I thought it was gonna go. It didn't go because it was on fucking TikTok. Oh fuck. Oh oh hey, speaking of which, uh, go on to my shop's TikTok. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm kind of a big deal on their TikTok. <laughs> oh yeah, really? Are All you right. is, are you any of you fans of Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Yes. Oh my god. Remember the uh, the fight milk <laughs> commercial they did? Oh yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. only on yes. season one. Yes. So we did all of the graphics for that and made all that stuff. Oh, so cool. a coworker and myself recreated their fight milk commercial and put it on TikTok. Their fight awesome. milk commercial. That's awesome. Like line for line. I was I don't know who the guy is, but my coworker was Charlie Day's character. And uh I think it's Charlie, right? His name's Charlie in the Yeah. 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 But yeah, that's check the that actor's out. Name. And then and then uh there's some other one that they just put up uh, maybe a day or so ago involving a basketball. And I ruined one of the scenes because someone was in my way. <laughs> well, she was so going here's... around asking everybody to spin a basketball on their finger, like a rubber basketball. And somebody was doing it right in the doorway where I needed to walk by. So I just walked in frame. I didn't know she was recording. I just saw some asshole spinning a basketball and I walked in and just slapped it right off his fucking finger and kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love that about you. <laughs> All right, so here, here, here's a. Uh, Stitches here, with the facts so ridiculous you didn't believe it until you looked it up yourself. Here we go. Let's see. 
In Australia, you can walk into any martial arts dojo and demand hand-to-hand combat with a sensei there. Now, if he refuses, then they legally have to give you a black belt. If he accepts and you beat him, then they also have to legally give you a black belt. If he beats you and you die from your injuries and he has one witness to say that it was a fair fight, then he cannot be charged with manslaughter or murder. Likewise, if you beat him and he dies from his injuries and you have one witness, you can't be charged either. Depending on the state or territory that you're in, if you have any special moves, you have to declare them first. You have to do a demonstration. <laughs> I think that's the only bylaw that I found, but it's all true, hundred <coughs> percent, definitely true. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so if you can, so if you can Mortal Combat uh, fucking fireball from your arms, you got to demonstrate so, that first. Yeah, and then challenge so the master. You can... Duck, Duck Boy, and Irwin and uh, Ozzy Bastard. We need you to. Uh, uh verify that please and well so i, I forget the Duck names Boy. i forget the names of the young ladies that are that are our listeners in australia i apologize but um yeah let's look into that oh so duck yeah. you sent it to duck boy i did send it to duck boy and his answer let's see if i can find it here real quick uh his answer was basically i don't know <laughs> uh, uh he says uh uh let's see here I'd say, uh, he says, he says, uh, I said, since you've been elected our correspondent down under, we need confirmation if this is true or not, because if it is, it's magnificent. He says, uh, righto, I would say I would test this out, but I don't even know where a local dojo is. However, the pub opens in two and a half hours, so I'll go there and see if I can prove this or not. <laughs> but let's be I honest, like, I like the pubs it. here would have way more fighting than any martial arts dojo anyway. Oh, that's amazing. Right. So fair. I, I that's told fair. him, I wish him, I wish him good fortune in the wars to come and yes. uh hopefully duck boy will actually get us an answer when he finds a martial arts dojo but any other of our australian correspondents if they want to do the research and find out if this is in fact true or false because if it's true it's magnificent if it's false then it, you know i don't want to know i'd rather think it's true <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. i mean just just the fact that you're gonna try That's to cool. walk into a dojo and just try to fucking you know uh challenge the this to fucking the grandmaster the sensei that, that happens here, though. I've seen plenty of fucking videos oh, of man. street fighters oh, yeah, walking yeah. and going, oh, fuck cool. you up. And they're like, all right, oh, let's, let's go. All right, let's go. Same, yeah, same thing with like a mixed martial arts uh, place. Talking about fucking around and finding out. What about the fucking video that I posted that I sent to you guys about the the, the turd bang? The, uh, the doodle bang. Well, so does that mean it's time for our fuck around and find out of the week? Yes, our new, our new segment. New segment brought to you by Marco. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fuck ladies and gentlemen. Marcos, ladies and gentlemen, Marcos, fuck around and find out of the week. Ah, so I don't know if should I do the one from last week? Or should I'll just do the one that it's we just talked about? Brother, you, you, yeah. guys, who, you declare so the winner. In this week's in this week's fuck around and find out. I didn't get really get I wasn't really too prepared for this, but I sent a video to the guys, which is now really making the circuits on TikTok. And it's basically mm-hmm. this uh this this man is straight creeping from outside of the shot of the camera, hops over the porch railing, grabs, and it's going to do a porch pirate thing, grabs He's a, a package, yeah. oh, that's 100%, grabs a fucking packet, package, puts it under his arm, and then starts to uh, walk off in the opposite direction that he came into frame. He takes three good steps away from the door, and bang, that fucking package <laughs> explodes. Yeah. That yep. man rolls around on the ground in pain, starts hooping and hollering. Oh, he thinks he's shot. I boo booed my. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you could tell it. So whatever came out of that package, it fucking hurt. Yeah, like I'm your I neighbor. Mean, you, know, <laughs> you know what hurt? You know what hurt the worst is the fact that the entire time you're rolling around in pain on the ground, you got someone on the ring door rail calling you a bitch ass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Over, it was over. so. This was a. This was for context. This was one black gentleman who, who was stealing another black gentleman's package. Well, we don't <laughs> so, know. We only heard the voice on the ring doorbell, but my I'm gonna go is ahead. On black gentleman. He was using the N-word <laughs> an awful listen. lot. I'm going to say that yeah. was a black guy. <laughs> uh, he called him a bitch-ass Ann and a bitch-ass Ann. That's what you yeah. mean, bitch-ass Ann. And, he's like, yeah. and he the shit guy, himself. The guy, the guy yeah. said, yes. hold on. He was like completely dazed and in shock. He's like, hold on. I think 
I, I shit at myself. He's like, I move, I move it on myself. Okay. And then that's what you, and again, you hear it again and again. That's what you get. That's, that's what you and, get. And, and the then cops are on the way. He's like, and he, he, the, the guy who got bang, the guy who got uh, boo boo bang, we call it, we call it poo bang. The guy who got poo bang, um, nice poo. Asks, what is that? And the guy on the doorbell, quick as hell, says, "Ex military, Marine, Marine Corps." Yeah, he goes, "That's as booby trap." Yeah. I'm ex military, Marine Corps, motherfucker. He goes, "Marine Corps, motherfucker." So Chuck, that's when he goes. The laws on their way, and I'm coming from work. Ooh, so yeah, I think. Um, and he. Oh I wait, did you catch this part? That. The guy goes, What's up? "Man, I'm your neighbor." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I would have stood that package. Yeah, he's like, I was I knew, the, "I'm your neighbor." I knew, he's like, "I, I knew, knew you'd be stealing my package." That so shit. obviously, this is not. Yeah, this is not the first yeah. time by far. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna. I'm sure you, if you have not seen it, we'll post it on our social. Yeah, we'll have to be posted. As, uh, Thursday. Fuck around, find out on Thursday. We'll post the fuck All around, right. find out so of the week. Champion. This week's fuck around Thursday included a pooping. Yes, the pooping. Glorious. Hashtag, hashtag fucking pooping. glorious. Hashtag pooping. Cop, cop, copyright locker room podcast. <laughs> By the way, if you want to send us any uh, videos in which somebody gets so startled they shit themselves, it's hashtag pooping. <laughs> brilliant. Okay, so fucking I got a poop story. Oh, we'll say you have a cool story or a poo story. I, I got a poo story. Okay. Okay. So y'all know they used to uh, play tournament paintball back in the day. Yep. So this involved not myself, uh, but two guys that were on my team. And luckily, I just I just walk I just walked up with my oh my uh, god I know this story with, with my gun in hand. So uh, I will not say I will not save names <laughs> to protect the innocent because you know you out there. So, anyways, um, they might listen. Where Philip, aka Ziggy, is uh, playing back, and the game's about to be over. Basically, it's just back players on back players. Our, our our homie Alex, God rest your soul, he goes and doesn't see the Ziggy's directly in front of him on his twelve, two bunkers up, and he starts running down the field uh, to Ziggy's right, to to Alex's left, to go bunker, basically go up shot up close shot, shoot, excuse me, uh, Ziggy's teammate. Ziggy catches a wind of this, Wit was his gun around and just hauls off on him. Bah, 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 bah. And Alex is a big guy and he has him dead to right sideways. So he fucking nails him like right in front of his kidney, like blah, blah, blah. And you see Alex, <laughs> Alex just drops his gun, puts his hand <laughs> over his, his back and then starts like clenching his butt cheeks and like hauling off. He's, oh, sh-. He's, you made me shit myself. <laughs> he runs. <laughs> Runs past us, he fucking runs past us and goes straight to the fucking porta potty. And then the motherfucker just yells, Somebody get my gun. And he fucking hops in his fucking car and just, <laughs> and just I love you, Alex. I miss you dearly. Oh, God, man. I, oh. I love you, brother. That's oh. Just, oh, oh, rest my in God. peace, yeah, brother. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Alex Boo Boo story. So, yeah, oh, Damn, well, hey, that's I, I sent you guys a meme, and it's, it's not really a meme, well, I guess it is, but. Um, I thought we should discuss this because I really do think that we should make this a thing. And we we kind of didn't know we were t- participating in an ancient Persian tradition. Oh, um, what? But we have been for years participating somewhat in an ancient Persian tradition. I can't so, wait to hear this. In the Persian Empire. Okay. Mm. Ancient Persia. Right. Which, hold on, which no longer exists. So all you Iranians, right. you're not fucking Persian. I'm right. sorry. Right, you're fucking Iranian. Deal it's, with it. It's like all the freaking uh, Nordic people that say they're Vikings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. you're not a Viking anywhere. Anyway, unless you're a berserker with horns coming out of your helmet and you're raping and pillaging villages on the regs yes. and hand you rowing, blood, the big fucking you boat. Had, you have, you the have blood. that bloodline and you have that heritage, but you are right. no longer that. Correct. Italians right. aren't Romans anymore. It's just Ooh. it's all it's all done. Right, it's all gone. Right. It's all it's went bye bye. So in ancient Persia, men used to debate ideas twice. Oh, yes. I remember this one. Yes. Okay. Once sober mm. and once drunk. Oh, I don't, I'm liking this going. The that rules were you would get drunk. And this is the, the idea had to sound good in both states in order to be considered a good idea. So what would happen was the men would decide <laughs> that they had to come up with a they had to debate an idea. So they would spend the night getting drunk and debating the idea. Then they would go to sleep, sober up, and then the next 
morning sober, mm-hmm. they would discuss the solution they had come up with the night before drunk. If it was still okay. a good idea sober, they went with it. Okay, you remember that? This is brilliant. <laughs> I mean, are you gonna write? That? I mean, if you can remember, write that shit down. That that's pretty dope. We have that's they had scribes, you know. Yeah, yeah. scribe. But I'm sure you don't get like blind blackout drunk. You just right. get drunk enough to where you're a little looser with your inhibitions. Oh, and just... yeah. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. You get there's a point. We all know. We also don't drink or so like you, you know that yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a point where you can you get high or you get drunk and you're the next motherfucking you know like you're the next fucking poet you know what i'm saying right. yeah like oh, yeah. You, you don't you get the, ahmed you, banging the goat drunk no you get fucking <laughs> the, the, the vinci fucking oh flying machine drunk you know what i'm saying like you, <laughs> right, you get right. like, I, i'm I'm going to discover a way to make a man fly. <laughs> That's right. You get to, I like that. I like that explanation. You get Da Vinci's flying machine drunk where you're like, you know what? I bet you I could build some giant ass wings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and make someone fly. Oh, yeah. I bet look, you I could. Look, I'm going mm-hmm. a, I'm to a, I'm a come up with the aqueduct. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get I'm gonna drunk some. I'm going to drunk some meat. I'm going to drink me some mead. And I'm going to come up with a fucking aqueduct. Francis Bacon drunk where you're like, you know what? I That's bet it. you if I took this raw chicken and put it in the snow. It wouldn't rot. <laughs> Let's go see. Yo, and you know, Francis see. Big is like, yo, Francis Big is putting a fucking chicken out in the snow to see if it doesn't rot. You get, and the next day he's that. like, damn, the chicken kept. <laughs> Can we just call that the Wright Brothers drunk? Right. Wright Brothers drunk. Yeah. Wright Brothers, Wright Brothers drunk. drunk. <laughs> that's it. That's that's it. Really we're like, Wright Brothers drunk. Like, Orville, you know, we should make a plane. What's the airplane? That's it's something for exactly. man to fly. <laughs> Wilbur. You know we're bicycle builders. Yeah, but I'm saying. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying. He's like, hold on, crack saying. another one. It's like, oh, wait, I, right. I see where you're going with this. Crack another one. Okay. <laughs> Hold my beer. Drink. Drink. Yeah, right. drink until the drink. plans come to your mind. Okay. Drink until the plans come to your mind and then stop. So, here, listeners, if you can find things that you want to send to us that are moments of drunken brilliance, hashtag Wright Brothers Drunk. There we go. <laughs> and it's Wright <laughs> Brothers with a W-R-I-G-H-T. Thank you. Wright yes, Brothers please. Drunk. <laughs> Wright Brothers Drunk. Oh. oh. Oh God! Well, um, so as we're closing out tonight, because we're we're at the tail end of our batting cleanup episode, uh, Chuck brought up the congressional hearings. What? Stop! I'm stopping. Studebakers. That idea <laughs> of the fucking turning headlights when you no, that was the, the that was the um, God, that wasn't the Studebaker. That was the, oh, the uh, that was the Packer. No, no, no. Packer. It was the uh, God. What was his name? They made a movie about it. Um, Tucker, the Tucker torpedo. Tucker, the Tucker, Tucker, Tucker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, it, the headlight right, it, was in the, the middle. That was yeah, the first right. one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it would move it, as you. Mm-hmm. Move. That, you know they have now for your for your off road. They have. Uh, I have a uh, one of our listeners that is uh, also a fan of Tacomas. We share, share stuff, and was say he was sending me some cool stuff. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh put that on my truck. Club. And then, yeah. oh, look at that! I'm fucking so they have these little lights. They have these little trail lights that go underneath. Fuck you! That go underneath. <laughs> on the fucking um on the the whatchamacallit it's like the uh i'm blanking on what it's called when you grill okay. turn the, when you, no when turn you turn the, the front wheel so it's like on like the, the not the tie rods but the wheel kind of goes in that area so axle pod so, lights yeah but it's, it's yeah but it's inside by the wheels so when you turn your wheels same thing those are mounted to it and just bloop bloop so when you're on the trail hmm. when you get somewhere you just turn your wheel to the left or right and your front wheels turn and it, the lights swing Pro- that way projector yeah. headlights I don't know what they're called. Your projectors <laughs> do that. My well, Volvo really? has one. Your Volvo, Your Volvo has, one? has one. Your yeah, Volvo. <laughs> we, all, we all heard it. <laughs> That's what I call it. It's my Volvo. My Volvo has. One. It's a Volvo. Oh god. Volvo. Uh, Volvo. Oh god. Costs as, ma- as much as a Volvo. Tell you what. Yeah. I don't know, man. My bubble is pretty fucking expensive right now. You know what I'm saying? What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so, so the the Congress had hearings on UFOs. Yep. Come again? Yeah. Yeah. For the first time in 50 years. Mm-hmm. Not for the first time, but just no. For, just, it's 50 year cycle. We're like, yeah, we got to bring this back. Yeah. More See, people are seeing shit. That's how you know my wife is not this. in Congress. They said that the she you don't know, let that, nothing that, go that long. <laughs> <laughs> you know that that UFO congress is now in session thing. now let me bring up some old shit <laughs> <laughs> yep yes 
the sighting with the navy guy i think it was navy it was in the military where they they saw those yeah. fucking like triangular things congress yep. is now saying the government is now saying those were uh military uh uavs or some shit yeah bullshit which is makes sense i mean like you know, a lot of the sure, ufo yeah. sightings were all military you know uh top but, where they, but where they were out in the ocean was too far away for an unmanned aerial vehicle to to be Ooh, right. who, who, who could have been away from anything it. yeah well unless okay so here's the thing it was china they could be experimenting with technology that we don't we can't we can't fathom because so my wife's grandfather who i just recently saw and and i again i bugged him he has this okay he has this certificate in his office from the central intelligence agency and it's the president <laughs> and it's got his name on it and it even has an operation named right right, right? and it just okay. says in recognition of service during operation blah 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 blah, and i won't say it because right opsec right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and i keep asking him i'm like larry what'd you get that for and i remember i asked him this when i met my wife like when we were dating like well, mm. larry what'd you get that for and he's like oh and i'm like that's not an answer <laughs> yeah then don't hey, hang buddy, on your fucking wall larry. Noise, right? don't hang right? on your fucking wall like, but you don't so, want to talk about it don't put on your fucking wall in your fucking yeah. home so i asked my wife's uncle it is an answer. Um, uh, uncle ben by the way i asked right, my come, wife's again, uncle. come again oh uncle yeah ben. Good, great rice uncle ben. great rice fantastic yeah uh, i minute. asked i asked him i said what's it for and he goes he won't even tell me i was like no shit oh he shit goes, no shit wow so every time and I, I shit you not gentlemen every time i have seen this man i've i've gone to his house in vegas when he lived there i've gone to his house in idaho i've gone to both houses in idaho because he's living in two different places every time i've seen this man mm. and this is over 20 years of marriage i've asked him right so you can tell me what the certificate's for now and he's like ah. and it's and the alien <laughs> the most recent time his wife goes yeah i don't even know wow damn yeah so that's dope this man worked in the aerospace industry and one night we were having a conversation about a thing called project aurora which at the time was just a conspiracy theory right, right? right. okay and it was the idea of a scramjet you guys can look it up it's a neat idea oh, yeah. but yeah. he we were talking about project Aurora, and he was dead silent. we're sitting out on the back this guy was in aerospace like he helped invent the backpack that the mmu that astronauts wear when they go outside the space shuttle oh yeah he helped he worked on that right that's cool and you know we were talking about project aurora and all he went was Psh. that was all he did he's like <laughs> oh and we're like oh you got something to say and he's like nah. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, 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 oh. he's like oh you guys and he just yeah, he didn't say, get him drunk right because he knows about him some it. mushrooms like, yeah, something well so oh. here's the here's the fucking thing right <laughs> this is the only thing that he would say he said boys i worked on stuff that i will have been dead 60 years before you hear about it okay wow. Wow. And I remember my mother-in-law telling me that all growing up, they were literally, they were, they were times when they were followed around by straight up men in black, black cars, black suits, black sunglasses, black ties. And they were government men checking up on him, making sure he wasn't meeting with they yeah, were yeah, doing yeah. surveillance just to Russians. make sure he was, yeah, it, making sure he was keeping up on his security clearance and he wasn't doing <laughs> shady shit. Check this so out. If, if they're unmanned aerial vehicles, and this guy's saying that there's technology that he will have been dead for 60 years before we hear about. Okay. I'll, I'll say maybe. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, but the, so like I have family in the aerospace industry and then my tattoo artist, his friend's dad was in the, in, in, uh, in the aerospace industry. And for years, for like 30 fucking years, he was working on a project, could never speak about it. And finally they, he's like, Hey, we're going to go to a, um, a, what do you call it? Um, uh, like a ceremony come mm -hmm. on it brings everyone because they kept asking hey, what are you working what do you we would never say finally he gets a, a an award at this ceremony and they unveil a new plane and i think it was the b-52 i think it was a b-52 stealth bomber oh, back in the, uh, he, b2 he helped, b2 b2 yeah b2 b52s yeah. um, were a band yeah okay. <laughs> you too you too Lob shack, baby. Uh, oh, oh, so Lob the shack, b2 right? bomber so he rock, helped rock invent uh, parts of that plane and he couldn't mm -hmm. he couldn't come out and right. say it and finally after like 20 30 years he was able to take the kids they were now grown up and take them there and 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 you know mm. show them all that stuff that he got but 
the, the Pentagon officials told the White House, uh, the House panel on Tuesday that there are now close to 400 reports from military personnel, military personnel of possible encounters with UFOs, a significant increase from the 144 tracked in a major report released last year by the U.S. Navy officials also said that Tuesday hearing uh, in, the, in that hearing during the investigation, reasonably confident the floating pyramid shaped objects captured uh, on one leaked widely seen military video were likely drones were likely drones hmm. aliens mm. well mm. Bubbles. so that brings me hey, to um, my oh go ahead mark talking about the military shit like this um did you guys happen to see the fucking uh, um the, the little interview that they did with it's an electrical engineer that stole a fucking russian tank in ukraine brought it home <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Retro, just... retrofitted it, and it's now his tank. It's like it's mine. It has in his garage. Went out, has a fucking count and video where he fucking shot up a fucking convoy and shot up a fucking bunch of uh, Russian uh, um, convoy and troops and fucking uh, armor vehicles and shit like that. And then just took it home and parked it, and then walked off. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Pretty G. Honey, I parked uh, my new gun in the garage. I'm sorry, exactly. you, you parked what? <laughs> Honey, just, just don't go out in the garage. Why? Don't worry about it. As you're walking in. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, so I my stepmother shared a video mm. that I thought was interesting because um, essentially it was the idea that the government is now in, in She's a Christian like me, but uh, she's mm. a little more of the end of the world variety. Um, and she shared a video that said that the government, mm. it, it's a theory that the government is preparing people and making these UFO disclosures mm. because they want to have a good explanation as to why the Christians all disappear in the rapture. So for those of you, that follow, yeah, right. Okay. Now, okay. if you, and as I thought about it, I'm like, okay, like, so first of all, you have to believe in the Christian idea of the rapture, which is that when Jesus, the second coming of Christ, all the Christians will disappear. Just poof, gone. Right. Right. So that's a large percentage of the world's population that would disappear. Right. And I'm thinking like, if, 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 all my non-Christian friends were to see me and my family and everybody that we were all praying, you know, at dinner and stuff like that. If they all saw us disappear, they'd be like, Oh shit, we better start doing that again. Oh, oh God. That maybe they were right. Like that would be the general consensus. If that happened, right. It'd be like the movie, the end you're in Seven Eleven for a minute. And then all of a sudden zoop, and people get beamed up and you're like, right. what the fuck? Exactly. So I thought, you know, if there is an evil empire like Cabal, Illuminati, whatever, you know, whatever fucking Satan cult, the whatever, what, the Pentaveret, yeah, <laughs> made up of the five richest families in the world. Um, if if there really is that, that kind of an organization, theoretically, they would have to prepare for an event like that and be like, oh, man, when that rapture happens, what are we going to tell people? Because we don't want them actually like believing in it. So we got to give them an explanation. And so this theory posits that this UFO prep is so that when the Christians disappear in the rapture, the governments of the world can blame it on UFOs. Okay. What if they Hurry are up. preparing for an invasion? Oh, yes. A fake invasion. Like, like, like fake? A in? fake invasion? Fake invasion? Would, like not. Like faking, like not like like where the government bacon? not bacon, it's faking, faking. Right. <laughs> like where the government gets everyone to unite together mm. and work okay. in harmony. By First of all, that would innovation. never fucking happen. Look around. No, <laughs> <laughs> the, the last thing population. the government <laughs> wants is for us to get together in harmony. Yeah, no, it's a way for population <laughs> control. Aliens is oh. a way for population control. Hmm. I don't know, but you guys got to watch okay. that thing on Netflix that just came out with the declassified UFO shit. It's, yeah, it's not it. like it's not like a all fake right. documentary. It's all real shit. Okay. Um, it's pretty good. good. I'm on it. I'm on it. It's pretty good. It's on Netflix. Um, fuck, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. <laughs> You're pretty tired today. 
Um, you know, I am beat. I've I'm coming off this fucking head cold. I thought I I thought I finally caught the Rona, mm. uh, like a couple weeks ago. Right. Turns out it was just a head cold. Those are a thing again. But it's it just beat the shit out of me. I haven't had a cold in like fucking years, and the I was coughing and congested, and I'm like, oh, I finally got it. I'm part of the club. Nope. I tested like four times in five days. Mm. Nope. Mm. But Maybe I still had really to stay did home. Have it, but you know. I don't know. I took a whole bunch of tests and then it was like at work, I was informed that I was a close contact to somebody who tested positive. So since I had symptoms, I had to stay home. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? They go, don't worry, you get paid COVID time. I'm like, that's a thing now. So I got paid my regular wage for eight hours a day for five days to stay home because I was a close contact to somebody who tested positive and I had symptoms. I had a cold. But yeah. everything's everything's a Rona symptom, so that doesn't right. say much. Everything is Rona, right? Right. Yeah. Everything's Rona. But I was like, okay, that's fine, whatever. Yeah. I mean, did we get some time off work, right? Yeah, yeah. Got to did hang get, out. And, uh... Did we get through all the emails, Matt? Um, you know, I got some jokes uh, lined up. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's uh, uh, some. They're more story jokes. One of them's pretty long. I want to save for uh, next week, sure, just because okay. for for time constraint. But let's fire that. this one off. Uh, speaking of Australia, this is from Mr. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ozzy Bastard, um, who also volunteered. Uh, he is going to be in your neck of the woods, Marco. And oh. he said that he would mm-hmm. ferry our package to mm-hmm. Duck Boy because he has to oh. go back to Australia. Oh. And he would actually take it with him. Because the United States Postal Service no longer delivers to Australia right now, they're yep. just not. And then mail it from there, right. where it would yeah. be cheaper. So he would he would go to where he is, which is mm-hmm. which is in the in the I don't want to say where he's from, but right. Um, it's it's a bit away from where Duck Boy is, but it still would be it'd be local postage and cheaper if we got it to you to yeah. give to him, and then he takes it with him back to Australia, and then we just give him some coin to mail it up to duck boy of course i'd have to talk to duck boy first and make sure it's okay that this other guy gets yeah. his address and all this you know stuff but we got some it, logistics it, to come up but with. but it would be more efficient than uh i just love the locker rooms well let's get now yeah let's get some yeah. oh definitely well let's get some dates going because i'm actually um to even ship that down even further uh the fam and i are doing a road trip to la at the end of july oh okay Ooh. yeah so they like, have yeah. to ship it Right, so like I can yeah, pass yeah. it off to you. You can just right, take exact, it back with exactly. you, exactly, okay. and then hand it off. And then they hand it off to him. And depending yeah. where he, where, depending on when and where he's at, I may be able to catch him on, you know, on the way back into uh, okay. into town. I'll I'll, uh, I'll hit him up and see what his schedule is when he's going to be cool. in your neck of the woods. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I understand you also recently did a tattoo for a listener. I was going to all... say, yeah. Communicate yeah, with. That. He he shot me a picture of that. That's pretty pretty legit. Looks like a big penis, but I zoomed <laughs> it. it was a lighthouse, lighthouse, not a penis. <laughs> he I was looking at it. I was looking at it on the go. I I it it on the go. Uh, no, he I said he, looked, he loved go. it. I did. Oh yeah, no, he said it was fucking legit. Yeah, yeah he, he, didn't say, he, was really... he didn't say. He didn't say anything. He I said didn't... maybe hey, maybe got... he was a little starstruck because he said that you no were just a, a consummate professional. He enjoyed talking to you. It was just. You I know, had no idea. Very overall great experience. Wait, he didn't say he was no a listener? Idea. No. Legit. Oh, so no. Wow. The guy you did the, the, guy you did the lighthouse I, on the forearm. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, this was yeah. like last week or something. Maybe yeah. he was yeah. afraid exactly. to really make it look like a dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And actually, it looks like a shaft and some fucking balls. No, it's the rocks around the <laughs> base the waves, of the lighthouse. The rocks. <laughs> it's the wave. It's Why funny because hit the White House. No, those are waves. <laughs> those are waves. Those are waves. The original. <laughs> they just, they just curl that up at like the top that. Of it flying around. Looks like it's shooting at that, that, those that, are that, seagulls. That's, that's seagulls. the reflection. That's the reflection. The reflection. There is a reflection of some mm-hmm. some nicely placed fluffy clouds. I, uh, that are white. I, it's not storming. <laughs> I just had assumed that you knew because he was very excited no. that he was yeah. going to see you to get some ink done. Well, whoever you are, I wish you would say something. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can con- I mean, I, I have his contact information. I can con- I can contact him, but uh, yeah, no, that he um, yeah. He's, he yeah, he reached out a um a while ago, both his appointment and then sent me the reference for it, and the reference was great, and um, yeah, I had a great conversation about the lighthouse itself, and yeah, it was pretty dope. Uh, he, he said he said really really good. I didn't think we we're gonna make it through the entire tattoo uh, in one sitting, but 
uh yeah knocked it out and i think we're gonna i think he's talking about doing some more work on the opposite side too i think nice. that's what i was i mean man, right. he's gonna get a foghorn yes <laughs> man <laughs> well i wanted to tell you guys i have a have the a big friend. rooster the foghorn rooster the fo- foghorn, foghorn leghorn, leghorn. Fire yeah. leghorn yeah i have a friend um who died i said i said i said i said i said i said what he did <laughs> oh, yeah. sorry. i have a friend sorry, who died recently and yeah. right before oh. he died he gave me his epic kill his, i'm sorry his what Right before he died, he gave me his yeah. epi pen. Yeah, I'm not epipen. sure why, oh, but it okay. seemed really important to him at the time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <God>. Damn. <laughs> Damn. So, uh, man, 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 yeah, my homie told me about this one time. Like he was fucking rolling around, and like he um he pulled up to like Seven Eleven, and he saw like four guys like jumping this one chick and trying to get her purse. So he like obviously you know what are you gonna do so he fucking ran in and tried to help out and he said between the five of them they gave that old woman an ass whooping and she would never forget, you know? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> nice. so, oh check this out so this young woman was taking a uh, golf lessons and had just started playing her first round of golf when she suffered a bee sting and mm-hmm. her pain was so intense that she decided to return to the clubhouse for some medical assistance then the golf pro saw her heading back and said, you're back early. What's wrong? Uh, and she said, I was stung by a bee. He goes, where? She a- he asked. Uh, she said, between the first and second hole. And the golf pro nodded and said, yeah, your stance is too wide. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, uh, <clears throat> you're American when you go into the bathroom and when you come out of the bathroom. Do you know what you are while you're in the bathroom? Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. We were European. all five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. I tell you guys, I was having a drink in a bar the other day, and the the one of the waitresses screamed, does anybody know CPR? And I yelled, I know the entire alphabet. And the whole bar started <laughs> laughing. Well, except that one guy. <laughs> Dude, well, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. <laughs> what a buzzkill. <laughs> Actually, I told my, I, no joke, well, joke, but I really did this. I told my daughter the other day, I said, when I mm-hmm. die, mm-hmm. Um, I want to be cremated mm-hmm. and I want yeah. you to take my ashes and put them in a tiny hourglass. And she Uh-oh. said, why? And I said, so I can still participate in family game night. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's kind of cute though. <laughs> I'm How not kidding. Telemarker- I, I would totally do it. <laughs> How many telemarkers does it take to screw in a uh, change a light bulb? Ooh, How right? many? How many? Only one, but he, but he has to do it while you're eating dinner. <laughs> oh, so true. Wah, wah. Oh, sorry, sir. We don't serve time travelers here. Time traveler walks into a bar. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, Marco, I, I got a Marco joke. Yeah. Why do cows wear bells? Because their horns don't work. <laughs> you know, I was addicted to the hokey pokey. Yeah. Yeah. I turned myself around. <laughs> Stop. Wow. <laughs> the, uh, the internet connection at my farm was really poor. So I moved the modem over to the barn. Now I have a stable Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> you know if my wife uh had a dollar or if my wife made a dollar for every sexist joke i'd make she'd be 0.77 cents richer by now <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, i was no, actually I was wondering going. do uh do firearms manuals have section <laughs> have a troubleshooting section Wait, wait, say that again. Sorry. Do, do what? Do what firearms man? manuals have a troubleshooting mm-hmm. section? Oh. <laughs> That's good. You know, um, all the kids with their acronyms and their freaking, you know, LOLs and the, the WYD, you know, all the text bullshit was well, asking mm-hmm. some of the kids what um, at work, what IDK stands for. And I've asked everybody and nobody fucking seems to know <laughs> oh wow god we may you know have what i was like 
<laughs> when I was a kid, my dad got fired from his job as a uh, road worker for theft. I refused to believe it. He could do such a thing. When I got home, the signs were all there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's good. A girl walks into a bar and asks the bartender for a double entendre. So he gave it to her. So there was a big moron and a little moron sitting on a fence. How dare the you? Big moron, the big moron fell off. You know why? 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 The little moron was a little moron. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I don't oh, have a girlfriend. Mm, no, I just know a girl who would get really rad if she heard me say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. what, did, uh, what did one plate say to the other plate? What? Oh, what? What? Tonight, dinner's on me. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I asked my friend Sam to sing a song about the iPhone. And then Samsung. Okay. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Where do you go from oh, there? I know, right? <laughs> I've I've got a good one to to finish okay. off with. All right, Just close. Bring us got, home, Tom. Okay, it's closing, right, time. Yeah, closing time. Closing time. All right, I have to bring it up because I was expecting one of you guys to have one. <laughs> no, if you say you have one to bring us home, it's like it's That's it's right. time. I do it's, have. I do have one. It's go ahead. Who's there? Who's there? Noble. 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 Who? Noble who? Noble, so I just knocked. <laughs> so I just knocked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe it's pronounced Nobel, but yes. <laughs> yes, but you get that by the joke. <laughs> no, I mean, literally, the way it's spelled, if you're reading it, it's pronounced <laughs> yeah, Nobel. Yeah, Nobel. <clears throat> like Alfred Nobel. Uh, okay, here we go. Bring us home. Uh, you don't have any more listener story jokes, right? Uh, I have a really long one for next time. Okay. okay. Hey-o. <laughs> Hey-o. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Woman wakes up during the night to find that her husband is not in bed. So she puts on a robe and goes downstairs to look for him. She finds him sitting at the kitchen table with a hot cup of coffee in front of him. He appears to be in deep thought, just staring at the wall. She watches as he wipes a tear from his eye and takes a sip of his coffee. What's the matter, dear? She whispers as she steps into the room. Why are you down here at this time of night? The husband looks up from his coffee. It's the 20th anniversary of the day we met. She can't believe he has remembered that. And she starts to tear up too. The husband continues. Do you remember 20 years ago when we started dating? I was 18 and you were only 16, he says solemnly. Once again, the wife is touched in tears. Yes, I do, she replies. The husband pauses. The words are not coming easily. Says, do you remember when your father caught us in the backseat of my car? Yes, I remember, said the wife, lowering herself into the chair beside him. The husband continues, do you remember when he shoved the shotgun in my face and said, either you marry my daughter or I will descend you to prison for 20 years? She says, I remember that too. He said, he wiped me with a tear from his cheek and said, I would have gotten out today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. That's fucking brilliant. Oh, oh man. god. Oh, oh man. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Fucking oh. in the locker room. Yeah. In the locker room. Oh, Send us some god. emails, fuckers. Locker room mailbag at gmail.com. We've got more stuff to talk about coming out. But, <laughs> but Psycho X Girlfriend. Yeah, I haven't gotten a single fucking message. What the fuck? You guys are doing it wrong. Nobody's nobody's really? had a fuck. Yeah, not a single fucking no, no. not a single one. So if you're thinking, yeah, <laughs> I can't fucking tell you, but I'll definitely tell her. She'll know. <laughs> so if y'all are waiting, thinking we've got too many, we've got zero. Yeah, absolutely. So y'all are delusional. And we could tell you ours, but we've told you a lot of them already. Yeah, I want to hear some fucking Amber Heard level shit. Come on, bring it on. Hashtag Amber Heard. All right, see you all. <laughs> see you. Bye. Bye.